Hello everyone and welcome to ZP Productions and today we'll be looking at something more fundamental on usage of cameras and you know really a convenience factor is can this power bank charge this EOS R? Now if you go online and see many of these uh, reviewers were saying that the Canon EOS R could only be charged by the USB-C charger provided by Canon and a lot of forums were asking can this camera actually be charged with a power bank? So today we'll be doing a video on looking at the power banks I have and whether they charge the EOS R. And we also can see if whether this EOS R can be powered by a power bank. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so for today's video we are really looking at can this Canon EOS R be charged and powered by all these different power banks out here? You can see. Now, um, if you read most reviews online and actually go to some forums, some people were saying that only the Canon charger can charge it. Uh, some were saying that uh, you need a specific specification of charger to charge this camera. And some people are complaining that they couldn't really get it to charge. So. What, what is uh, so problematic about this EOS R is not all chargers and power banks work on this camera. And today, if you can see here, I've got a few power banks and I also have the GFX here to show you all these power delivery features. And of course, can this EOS R be charged by them? And uh, which of these charger does well with this camera? Okay, so USB-C, firstly, what is USB-C? USB-C is something with this uh, end, as you can see, I think a lot of you should have seen this before. Some of you may still be using the very traditional way of taking out the battery to charge it. But I think USB-C is one of the greatest innovation in terms of uh, standardizing everything from your laptops to cameras to a lot of accessories. Even the latest Flash V1 Godox can be charged with a USB-C. I think that is a major breakthrough. So no longer do we need to bring power brakes around, no longer do we need to bring additional accessories. So all is great. So all these uh, power banks uh, have USB-C, but not all USB-C are built the same. But before we go into that, let's look at the power banks I have. This is, of course, the Xiaomi power bank. Get it to focus. This is the Xiaomi power bank, and this is one of the most common power banks in the world. You can find it. This has um, USB-C at 10,000 mAh. So the next thing that uh, we have here is something of a local brand. This is DigiNut. This is from a local brand in Singapore. This DigiNut has wireless charging. It also has power USB-C. Now this USB-C is quite limited. It's only rated for 5V 3M for power delivery. I like the Xiaomi here. The Xiaomi here actually delivers a little bit more. It actually goes to 9V 2M. So uh, there are some other chargers I have here. This is a very powerful USB-C charger. This is the Orkey uh, 26,800 mAh charger with a USB-C port. This does power delivery up to 45 watts. And this is the Snapdragon, I believe, is the Qualcomm QC 3.0 quick charge system. So this allows you to quick charge some of your phones which actually have the similar standards. Okay. And then I love this the most among all my chargers. This is the iWalk. I believe this is the Scorpion or the higher edition with I think 12,000 mAh. That is the Scorpion Air Plus. So uh, one thing I like about this is you can notice that it has all the cables, Lightning, USB-C, and of course the standard USB 2 charger so that you can plug into uh, the charger itself. So the good thing of this charger is that you could actually directly plug into any USB charger and charge this power bank you know, without bringing additional cables. But in case that you, know, you can't use all these cables here or, do it, or they actually break, there is the micro USB here and there is the USB-C here. So this is the iWalk charger with USB-C. And then lastly, this is a Nudge. I believe this is also another local brand in Singapore. So this charger has USB-C and also Qualcomm Quick Charge. Now this has actually uh, rated with uh, PD for 9V 2M and 15V 1.5M. So these are the various things. Just to note, this is a USB-C cable but this is not rated for power delivery in any way. In fact, Inertia wrote here as it only supports QC 3.0 fast charge. So it doesn't really support um, 
it doesn't really support the charge required to you know, power this through PD. Yep. Okay, so USB-C is built into a lot of cameras, so what you, has here, what you see here is the GFX100. And you know, before we start, you know, this GFX100 has not much power left. So let me show you that it can be charged with USB-C quite easily. Plug in this cable here, and then plug into any of these chargers. And you will see that the camera lights up. So GFX is uh, quite lenient to chargers. A lot of these chargers can actually power it quite well. You notice this Xiaomi charger just doesn't work with cameras. So later you'll see that it doesn't work too. Okay. Okay, you see it work. And then you see it work. And then last, the last charger, you see it work too. So, you, one thing we can uh, be sure is that all of these chargers, except the Xiaomi, doesn't work uh, properly to charge this camera, which is JPEX 100. So at least we verified that you know, the USB-C works for all these uh, different power banks. So now let's look at the EOS R itself. So EOS R requires a PD to charge, so they have some specification you need to follow. But I found that it's quite lenient. It doesn't really need the PD 9 volt, just need probably PD 5 volt will do. So firstly, we plug this in similarly. Now we have to off the camera first. It's on off. Now let's look at the different chargers. Firstly, we look at this iWalk here. Anything happen? Okay, let me off the camera. So if you notice that when the camera is on, right, this camera doesn't charge. So just now it wasn't showing any light because it's not charging in any way. So this iWalk here does charge this USR perfectly well. The next thing we look at this is all key. It does charge it well too. And then we look at inert. It does charge this USR. We look at the DigiKey. DigiNut, not DigiKey. It does charge this well. And lastly, we look at the Xiaomi. Now, for some reason, right, my Xiaomi charger is not working with any cameras. So I'm not really sure if the Xiaomi is broken or what. So something, something for me to find out later. Now, we have one thing we have verified is all these USB-C chargers with some sort of power delivery specification do charge this camera. So what happens if a uh, what happens if a battery doesn't have such a specification? So uh, let's look at something more traditional that I bet a lot of you will have is such a cable. This is the USB uh, O USB A cable, and then this is the USB C cable. So a lot of this charger does provide a USB A. So you just plug it in. All right, we plug a standard USB A cable here, and into this USB C port. Now. This camera does not charge. No matter which charger I try, no matter does it have QC 3.0 or not, this camera will not charge if you are plugging it through a USB-A port. Uh, I tried with various chargers and it doesn't really work and also various cables. So this camera for the EOS R can only be charged through USB-C. And uh, contrary to a lot of these reviewers out there, especially when the, if you go online and then want to buy a USR, this USB-C charging may or may not impact your purchase decision, but it definitely impacts the convenience. And as you can see, all of this charger here, it does work on this USR perfectly well. And really, uh, this camera can be used easily as long as we have a USB-C charger. Now, uh, the EOSR, however, could not be powered through USB-C. I have tried it and it doesn't really work. So let's on this now and then plug it in. If you notice, it has uh, no indication that it's being powered by USB-C and it has no indication at the top that it's also, it's also powered by USB-C. So how does a camera get powered by USB-C and also you know, run live? Now, if you look at the GFX, it does provide this function. So if I do on the GFX, and then I plug in my camera, I plug in my power bank, I mean, 
Notice that there's an extra icon here if you look at it closely. There's an extra icon here and it shows that the camera is being charged through USB-C. So, uh, of course, I'm not really sure why Canon did not implement this function because I think for people who shoot video, this will be a great function, especially if you rig up the camera on the EOS R, which is a very good video camera. Um, maybe Canon still wants to sell their old charging cable that goes into this LPE6 body, which you know probably works very well. But if not, uh, I do hope that you know, Canon actually provides a USB-C power on runtime for this camera itself. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this video. I'm just here to show you that you know a lot of these power banks do work on this EOS R. It's not really like what people say, they know you only can use specific chargers, specific uh, power banks to utilize it. No, not really. As long as it has PD, you can power this EOS R pretty well. I hope you enjoyed this video and you have any comments or thoughts, just post it online or in the comment. I'll reply you when I can. And if not, see you next time for my next video itself.